Wingman, this is Tally Mouse. Today I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step guide for setting up the Pyamax Crystal's eye tracking and dynamic foveated rendering to function correctly with Microsoft Flight Simulator using OpenXR Toolkit and Pyamax XR. However, firstly, there are a couple of things we need to do in Windows beforehand. We will disable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, or HAGS, so right-click on the Start button and select Settings. System Display Graphics Change default graphics settings and then turn off Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. You will need to reboot your PC at this time. Once rebooted, click Show Hidden Icons and open NVIDIA Control Panel. Under Manage 3D Settings, find Power Management Mode and set it to Prefer Maximum Performance. Leave everything else as default. However, if you have a particularly high-end CPU, you may wish to change virtual reality pre-rendered frames to two or three. Otherwise, ensure that it is at its default value of one. Next, go to OpenXR Toolkit's GitHub page and download and install the latest version. Go to Pimax XR's GitHub page and do the same. All links are provided in the description below. Next, start OpenXR Toolkit and enable Safe Mode. Now enter Flight Simulator and use Control Tab to enter VR mode and press Ctrl plus F2 to enter OpenXR Toolkit's on-screen display. Use left control along with F1, F2 and F3 to navigate the menu. Go to the last tab using Ctrl F3. Then navigate down to restore defaults. Then press Ctrl F3 and Ctrl F3 again to confirm. Now use Control Tab to leave VR mode. Start OpenXR Toolkit and uncheck Enable Safe Mode. Start Pimax XR and ensure that Pimax XR is set as the active runtime. Check Allow Use of Eye Tracker, but ensure that Enable Hand Tracking is unchecked as it can cause OpenXR to crash upon entering VR mode in Flight Simulator. Next, open Pimax Play, turn on your crystal and go into device settings. Ensure that eye tracking is enabled and that you have performed the calibration successfully. I would recommend turning off auto IPD adjustment and setting the value manually. Set local dimming to highlight And in Games, under Common Setting, choose Maximum Render Quality and disable Smart Smoothing, Hidden Area Mask and any other feature setting. This is to ensure that there isn't any visual conflict or artifacts when running DFR in Flight Simulator. You can always turn these back on afterwards. Remember to click Apply. Now enter Flight Simulator and use Control Tab to enter VR mode. Use Control F2 to open the on screen display and navigate down to Foveated Rendering, turning on to Preset and then turning on Eye Tracking. You will need to leave VR mode and enter it again to apply the changes. Upon re entering VR mode, you will be able to see the foveate region tracking around with your eyes. 
Control F2 to open the on-screen display again, and navigate down to foveated rendering, turning it to custom. I recommend that you set the inner ring size down to about 34 or 35% the middle resolution to about one eighth or back to one quarter if you don't particularly like the look of it and also reduce the outer ring size. Ultimately you will need to adjust these settings for personal taste and balance between visual acuity and frame rate. These are the settings that I use and they typically perform significantly better than the preset. That's it, eye tracking and DFR is set up in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Play around with the settings a little more, because then you can always backtrack if you do something wrong. If you found this step-by-step -step guide useful, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell to be informed of the most up-to-date content. See you next time, wingmen.